What is masking fluid? Masking fluid, also known as liquid frisket, is kind of like a weak rubber cement that watercolorists use to seal a section of paper. They desire to remain untouched by paint. There are tons of different kinds of masking fluid, but generally they are painted on and then dry clear. Once dry, the artist can freely paint over the masking fluid without the paper underneath becoming contaminated. Then the film can be easily removed with one's fingers or an eraser. When do you use masking fluid? Well, typically you use masking fluid in two ways. Number one, to preserve the pure white of your watercolor paper for light highlights. Or number two, when trying to preserve an already painted and dried lighter color that could be contaminated by a darker wash of color that you're going to lay down on the paper later. This is the basic stuff that most people talk about when discussing masking fluid. But how do you really use masking fluid, let's say, like a superhero? Tip number one, work off a value sketch. This isn't just good for determining depth in a painting, as we saw in the last episode, link down below. But these value sketches can also help us determine where the bright highlights would be located as well as areas that we might want to preserve from being contaminated by dark colors as we paint. Tip number two, always use a cheap brush or masking nib. This stuff will most definitely ruin your brushes. Thus, you'll want to either use a cheap brush or something specifically made for masking fluid, such as a masking fluid nib as seen here. Even while you're applying your masking fluid, be sure to clean the nib or brush every couple of minutes to keep the masking fluid from sticking to your brush or nib as you paint. Tip number three, what happened to the paper? Yeah, this stuff will make your paper look a bit odd after removing it, especially if you're putting it on pure white watercolor paper. What is happening is the masking fluid is actually flattening the paper, whereas when you're painting on the sections of paper that don't have masking fluid, it's actually opening up those grains and making it appear looser. No worries if you see this happening. Simply wet the paper with a clean brush and the white paper will actually begin to open up and appear less flat. And finally, tip number four, beware your kryptonite. Remember every superhero has a weakness and masking fluids is, you probably guessed it, air. Air will cause it to dry up faster than you would desire, making it very difficult for us later on. A simple remedy for this is to simply flip the masking fluid container upside down when you store it, preventing air from reaching the lid of the jar while being stored, and thus preventing this from happening. In conclusion, masking fluid is great for preserving the white of the page as well as light colors which can help communicate depth to a painting as well as interest. Just make sure to work off a of value sketch, always use a cheap brush or nib, wet the paper after use, and store your masking fluid upside down when not in use. In the next video, I'll be ending the series in a Q&A, so if you have a burning question that you would like me to answer, leave your question down below. 
Also, if you are a true Misfitian, make sure to hit that like button before you go and solve this puzzle to find your way to a very special treasure just for you. As always, y'all, lots of love, and I will see you in the next video.